Sagittarius Capricorn. I hope your friends are doing great out there. Um, this is your numerology reading for June. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Okay, let's see what's going on with you. And first card coming out is 5-5. Five, five. So definitely talking about that change. So if you guys are seeing a lot of fives, it's talking about this change that's getting ready to take place or you're in the midst of it as we speak. Um, usually you're in the midst of it as we speak um, for the majority of the time. And it's really kind of telling you it's time, though, for you to start really um, getting some kind of adventure on. It's really pushing you towards this kind of adventure. I think the, the thing for most of you is you've already had this kind of idea in your mind. And they're like, yeah, and I really like that. And it could have been because it was forced kind of into your mind. Uh, spirit guides love doing that. Hey, you know what? I would like to see you have a little fun. I would like to see you get a little adventure going on in your life. Uh, too stagnant, too busy, too much work, not enough play. Um, and this is encouraging you to step out of the rut of your everyday life and experience exciting new things. It doesn't have to be anything dramatic, just, you know, a couple of minor adjustments to get a little adventure going on um, within your life. You know, you could go, uh, you know, putting or something, you know what I mean? Go to the bowling alley. However, just whatever it is, it wants you to experience new things. Um, maybe you even want to get adventurous with your clothes. Um, eating different types of food, traveling different places, maybe take up a new hobby, go on an overseas voyage, go hiking, you know, do something. But what it's doing is it, the adventure is expanding your life for the enjoyment of life. Does that make sense? Experience what life has to offer. You know, even if you get a new hobby and you're not really good about it, you know, good at it, enjoy it right why because life is short and we're too busy so to actually gain the extra adventure and put a little extra excitement into your life is it's really healthy and it's really good and it's really good for your soul as well because your soul is also learning your soul is here learning through you it's you know it's the evolutionary i'm learning um, so every time that you do something new, the soul is excited and it wants to learn these things with you. Okay, so very nice. So the next card out is fire. Yeah, let's get some get some passion going. Get passionate about wanting to do something outside of the box or something fun, something exciting, something different, something that's an experience. I mean, even if it's you can't do anything really crazy, maybe you just go to the movies. I don't know. Take your kids and throw popcorn. <laughs> throw popcorn all over the place. You know, just kidding. Don't do that. But <laughs> um, my son does. used to like to do that, though, when he was like 10. Um, but, you know, the, the thing is, is look at that. 2 plus 3 is 5 again. It's, you know, it's just having something different to fuel the soul. It's going to change. It is going to change. There's a butterfly here. Um, it is going to change the outcome of the energy that you have. It's going to change the way that you feel, right? Put a little hop in your walk. The Gaia Gateway Activation is learning experience. That's it right there. That's what I said. The learning experience. Wisdom, transmission, and earth intelligence. Um, because of the learning experiences, like I said, uh, the soul is always evolving, guys. Everything you do, it's, you know, you can think of yourself as like a little computer for the soul. It learns. It learns new things. It sees new things. It learns every day from what you're doing. And through different experiences, it gets a different taste of what's going on. Um, as we come back each time through reincarnation, we are not the same avatar. You can think of yourself as an avatar. Um, I do. You know, it's kind of like, I always think of it kind of like Sims World. You can change your, your avatar all the time. And even if you change them, you put different kinds of little things inside of them to make them a little bit different because you're never the same ever. So, therefore, your soul is always evolving off of each time you relive. So, this one is telling you this is the learning experience that I want you to do. 
I want you to go, you know, do something exciting. And not only for your soul, your soul, but also for yourself, right? Because we have to get down to self as well. When you're stuck in a rut and you're tired all the time and you feel like you never have any time to go to the pool, how about that? Just go to the pool, go to the beach, take a walk, um, sit and watch the birds, right? And maybe it's something you've never done. Maybe you've never bird watched before. It's actually kind of weirdly entertaining. <laughs> it's kind of weirdly entertaining. <laughs> But um, with the compassion over here, and that's really what it's doing. It's really bringing in and igniting a passion and a compassion within yourself um, that not only, like I said, your soul is learning, but you can also gain as well. And, and it's going to help you manifest. And why it's going to help you manifest? Because when you do stuff like this, it makes your chakras go crazy. Look at all the chakras you guys have. This is actually going to make your chakras go nuts. Um, as you're getting balanced within your own energy. There's a lot of energy inside this one. This is really crazy, but this is 555. This means it's actually coming from the angels itself. So these are actually, I mean, literally, like the angel is like speaking to its time now. Not just the universe saying, I think you should do this. This one's actually like, you can go to sleep and you're actually dreaming about being on that cruise ship. Um, and I know some people can't afford, I couldn't afford it. I could have a cruise dream all day and all night, but I ain't getting there. I don't have the money to do that. You see what I'm saying? So, but you could do other things. Um, I think what the point of those type of dreams are is to make you understand that it's time to get out of the box of work, the box of stress, the box of pure 100% responsibility and go out and do something a little bit fun um, and do something that's worthwhile that can put a huge smile on your face and really make your chakra shine. Um, and it really is going to help you manifest a lot better because you're going to feel more rejuvena uh, rejuvenated, excuse me, because your root chakra is going to go crazy with vitality, right? So it's literally going to spark up all this new um, energy within you, right? And that's what this gateway is. It's saying, let's activate this. You live on this whole big giant world and you might just be sitting in one spot, you know what I mean? Or... More than anything, guys, everybody, mostly, a lot of people are residuals, you know, just, it's the same thing. I wake up in the morning, I get my coffee, I watch a little TV or my Netflix or my phone or whatever, and then I go take a shower and then I go to work and then I come home and I do the same damn thing and then tomorrow I'll do the same thing. So it almost gets to the point where it's like, if I'm talking to you on the phone and I say, what are you doing? You could literally tell me the same thing I did yesterday. And a lot of people do. Um, and this is where it's saying, I need you to change that up. So that way when I do call you, I want to hear, hey, you know what? I'm painting this picture. I'm horrible at painting, but it's so much fun. <laughs> right? That's what I want to, oh, man, I bet it's awesome looking. Oh, it's colorful. I don't know what the hell it is, but it's beautiful. I use these beautiful colors. So it could be paint splattering. It don't matter as long as it's fun, right? Kind of reminds me of when the kids were in school and they used to make hand paintings, right? Maybe you could do stuff like that with your kids too. That's always fun. It's like just the craziest little thing. Like they put their hand in paint and put it on a paper and they were just the happiest things in the world. I actually remember doing that as a child. I thought it was the most amazing thing. I've done some crazy things though. I had a really crazy teacher though. She was pretty cool. She gave us a string once, guys. She she took it, and then she made, like, a little knot, and then she had this little, like, bubble around it at the top, and she told us it was a ghost. I remember taking it home <laughs> in kindergarten telling my grandma I had a ghost. So, you know, just fun little stupid things like that. But you see the vitality. You see how even when I'm telling the story, it brings out this, like, energy that's like, whoa. You know, you just told, the you know, maybe the dumbest story in the world, but the... The energy I exposed with it because I think about it and it was like it was kind of stupid but it really was really cool you see what I'm saying so you're changing that vitality like you know and to a small child it's good see traveling towards new adventures traveling towards things that make you happy putting intentions to where they need to be aware of all the toxicities that are just holding you back say goodbye to those chains for a minute and those chains for a minute is just the whole stressed out, slave to the grind. I got paperwork to do in the, on Monday morning. And you know what? I don't want to, how about I don't want to think about those. 
until maybe Sunday because Saturday or Sunday, I'm going to take this whole day off and go have a picnic or do something. You see what I'm saying? Of course, you'll have to make time to do those things. Okay. That, that going to be your next thing, right? Is time. Um, but you will find the perfect timing as soon as you become really super aware of the situation and really wanting to put forth the effort. And 99, again, there it is again. Anytime you see doubles or triples, guys, that is literally 100. Like them try to get your attention. It's knocking on your forehead is what I always call it. Um, with the Ace of Wands over here, and it's saying yes, because you need to have this new beginning where you're going to take action towards having this new, some kind of adventure. I don't even care if it's a board night. You guys can play, you know, Monopoly. It doesn't matter. Whatever puts a smile, just laugh, have excitement, enjoy, right? Because it's definitely going to change the energy with the Eight of Wands. And the energy with the Eight of Wands is saying because you're going to move up the ladder for the manifestation towards your dreams, towards a better abundance of vitality, happiness, and putting your smile on your face, which might be huge. And you have, you know, be of service to yourself. Really giving this to yourself. This is not saying I have to I have to wait for this person. No, no, no. You're doing this for yourself. You're going to be at service for yourself. If your soul wants it and it's yelling at you, you do it for yourself, right? And with all the passion and all the might that you have, why? Why not? Because you're stealing from yourself. Throw down your responsibilities for just one second. Let your guards down for just one second and go enjoy your life for just a minute. It's summertime, guys. And if you're in Australia, it's winter time. It's time to go hit the snow. Go do something, whatever you do. I'm not in Australia. God, I wish I wish, wish I was in Australia. That'd be an awesome place to be. Um, whatever it is. Because the two best, everybody knows the two best seasons of the year is that winter and that summer, right? You got that snow or you got that sun. So however it is, you know, but it's time. Stop stealing your energy. Stop stealing your freedom and your fun. Now it's time to give back to yourself, right? And you it, you just, you know, maybe you're inviting some kind of Capricorn or Virgo or a Libra or a Gemini or an Aries with you, right? Maybe you want them to go have fun with you. And, you know, you can be of service and ask them to come and use your intuition to say, you know what? Maybe I do have some secret desires within myself that I would actually like to go do something. Something has sparked this, right? So I'm going to come up with the intuition of, you know what? Even if it's just the smallest thing. Maybe I haven't gone ice skating in a long time. I'm going to go to the ice skating rink. It doesn't have to be expensive. It, a picnic in the park is not expensive. The most expensive thing you'll have is the food to take with you or maybe the drive, right? Ooh, the drive. I'm thinking about gas, you know, that's... Ugh. And that's around the world, right? So, but however it is, I mean, you know, it's just from the cheapest thing to, you know, however, everybody's story is different. But do it for yourself, my friends. Do it for yourself. Okay? And they're really pushing you and they really want this for you because they say this is going to change everything for you. And it really will. It really will. From a vitality side and not feeling so down and um, any kind of emotional distress or mental distress. Okay, so it's healthy. That's the good thing to say. Until next time, my friends, peace and love. Go find that adventure. Bye-bye.